the latest on September 11th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. No tropical cyclones are active at this point, at least in tropical form. The remnants of Gabrielle and Faxi are churning up towards the extratropical zones. On day 254 of the year so far, we've seen 56 storms around the world at this point. Day 102 of the Atlantic hurricane season, Invest 94 and 95L now active in the central and western part of the ocean. 119 days into the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, Invest 90E has a high chance of formation. In the Western Pacific, Invest 95W and 97W are active in the uh, southernmost uh, parts in the tropical regions there, and no systems are active in the southern hemisphere at this point. It is still all quiet down there. The main feature and only feature tonight is Invest 95W. It's got winds of 45 miles per hour, confirmed by ASCAT and a pressure of 996 millibars, but crucially no circulation. 241 miles from Yap, 12.8 north, 136.8 east. This system's rather complex, and uh, it could become a tropical cyclone at some point over the next few days. Uh, as it is, it's going to do quite a bit of looping around in the Philippine Sea. It will eventually set course towards, we think, towards the Philippines, but it could quite easily sail off towards the northwest, eventually towards Taiwan or the Japanese islands. Here is the latest imagery of the system uh, showing the wind shear values. Good, significant vection on the uh, western side there. It doesn't have a circulation whatsoever to speak of, but the uh, center of the camera is located where we think a center would be most likely to form, um, and that would mean that that convection would be quite displaced off towards the west. Wind shear is prohibitively high, especially on the southern side. The North Atlantic today looking like this, um, can't really see much at all of Invest 94L. 95L on the other hand though is quite clearly visible there, just north of Hispaniola, not far from the Turks and Caicos Islands, indeed over those islands. Uh, that system could end up going into the Gulf of Mexico and could be a spin-up tropical cyclone. And the Gulf of Mexico itself is looking rather uh, unhappy at the moment there, especially further south, lots of thunderstorms blowing up. The Eastern Pacific looking like this, you can still see the remnants of Juliet, which is still producing actually a little bit of convection on the eastern side. Further over into the western uh, part of the Eastern Pacific, if that makes any sense, the Central Pacific, um, things looking fairly quiet. You can see a tail of activity there on the right hand side, on left, which is now right. Uh, that is part of Invest 97W, there is the main bulk of it near the bottom of the screen. And further towards the west you've got 95W. And another little blow up there near the Mariana Islands it makes me wonder whether that might get its own designation at some point as well. But we've got an extremely broad area of low pressure um, in that whole entire region there. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this. Interesting flare-ups occurring near the Solomon Islands at this point. Um, makes you wonder whether we just might be getting towards that part of the season. The Indian Ocean looking fairly quiet at this point. Uh, still some thunderstorms brewing in the western parts of India and just off the coast of Bangladesh. Sea surface temperatures around the world look like this. The Eastern Pacific very warm underneath 90 E, 30 degrees plus. The Gulf of Mexico piping hot, 30 degrees plus there as well. Same too in the Western Caribbean. Where those two Atlantic invests are, those sea surface temperatures are plenty warm enough for sustained development. It's just whether other conditions will go in its favour or not. The Indian Ocean, 28 degrees plus generally, and the Western Pacific is warming up again after being cooled down quite a bit by a few of those typhoons recently. The Philippine Sea, around 29 or 30 degrees Celsius. The hotspot still just east of the Mariana Islands and where Invest 97W is right now. That's another hotspot. This is the remnants of Faxi, if you were still interested at all. There it is, um, sweeping off towards the northeast in the latest imagery, becoming extremely lopsided. It's quite clearly a post-tropical remnant. And looking in close now at Invest 95W, the first visible imagery there as well, confirming that there is no circulation, even if it was an exposed one, at least we don't think so. Looking at that imagery, we do look out for that potential to see for the circulation, but ASCAT um, quite clear earlier today 
in suggesting that there wasn't one, but winds are 45 miles per hour. So, as of September 11th, this is where we are in the naming list. The next name in the Atlantic is Umberto. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Kiko. The Central Pacific will be on to Ima. And in the Western Pacific, the next name on the list there is Paper. In the North Indian Ocean, list 8's next name will be Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name, of course, Force 13 all in text. You can contact us on any of those mediums if you have any questions. That's all for now. Another Tropical Weather Bulletin will follow tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.